Hello guys and welcome to another video. We'll get some sun with Paz. This is the Suckers Prataris Hotel in Cyprus in Prataris and this is a video review. So guys, let's take a walk inside to the reception area and have a look. Now, bearing in mind that Jet2 rate this as a three star plus, on the signage out the front of the hotel, it is actually rating itself as a four star. This is the reception area of the hotel where the staff were always kind and courteous and very helpful if you needed them. So guys, welcome to our room. This is one that we got. It's not a refurbished one, but it's good. It's clean. It's a bit bog standard, to be honest with you. But come on, let's show you what it's got, what it's not got. So walking into the room, like any other hotel room, media on your left or your right, in our case the right, you've got the bathroom. This consists of a bath, a shower head, which you can detach and use on its own. Single toilets, not be day this time. Large, spacious bathroom. Let's show you the bedroom. So as we walk around this way too, you're right. It's a fairly large room. Two single beds put together. Sheets are always white and clean, changed every day. To the left hand side, have another mirror, shelf and a large TV. It does show English speaking channels, but they are a little bit fuzzy. They're not the best. Oh, they could, dog, so who wants to watch TV when you're old, to be fair. Um, two chairs and a table. Don't know if they actually go with the decor of the rest of the room, but they're there. You've got two little shelves next to your bed. Now, I'm going to show you something in a minute. Let's just show you this first. This is the wardrobe. Now bear with us because normally I would film this on the first day here. But I thought rather than do that, let's get everything unpacked, put it all in, and you can see how your stuff's going to fit into the room. So this that you're looking at now is more or less the only storage space you have in the room. We was a little bit disappointed. You do get a safe, you do get tea and coffee making facilities, a kettle, and you do get a fridge. Now our fridge doesn't actually shut properly. I mean, it works. Bottle-wise, that's literally all you're going to get in there because when you try to put them on the bottom shelf, they do roll forwards and, and roll out the fridge. You get one bottle in the door and maybe a few snacks and that, like chocolate. And you've got one freezer compartment, small. It's all right if you want to store a few tins in there. So let's shut this. You do get the safe, by the way, as well. So looking at that, now, you imagine coming into the room, unpacking... And that's the only storage space that you've got. So as we walk around here, as you can see, everything's had to be dumped in the corner because there's nowhere else to put it. The only drawers you have in the room, there's no drawers over there, just the shelf. So the only drawers you have in the room are these. And that holds my batteries, my camera, my headphones, uh, and, and a power bank and that's more or less it so there's nowhere to put anything else you have to store everything next to your bed or on the table small table and two chairs is standard affair now we've not got the pool view room we do have a nice view it's all right we've been in this room before well we've been in this side of the hotel before you can see up there that that's um toward waves cocktail bar McDonald's is just over there. You've got the ghetto bar and the Sphinx bar just around the corner. A nice shopping area to the left hand side. Restaurants, seafood restaurants. That's the Blue Ivy Hotel opposite. That is brand new within the last couple of years. You've got a, a view of the fields over there, which are watermelon fields, I do believe. And you do have a little bit of a sea view, you can see in the distance. If you like an early night sleep or you like to get to bed say half past 10 11 o'clock you've not really got much of a chance if you stay in this side of the hotel um the bars just above just above us in the street here they are a bit loud and um, they do play music till like one o'clock half past one some of them so you are going to struggle to get to sleep because these windows on the patio here don't really block out the sound um other than that that's that's giving you a clear view of the room so Next up, I think we're going to have a look at the pool area. Come on. 
So guys, there's plenty of seating outside at the back of the hotel around by the pool. So there's always somewhere to sit and have a drink. However, when it comes to reserving a sunbed, which you will need to do because they do get taken up very quickly, um, you can't leave a towel overnight. So they will take them off at 11 p.m. But you are allowed to place a towel on a sun lounge at from 6 a.m. in the morning, which you will need to do very early if you want to get yourself a sun lounge at. So be warned. This is the all-inclusive drinks menu. Pause it if you want to take a look. Okay, guys, let's have a look at the restaurant. So the restaurant's quite large. We didn't struggle for seating, there was four of us. This is the dinner time period that I'm filming, and yes, those are chickpeas. Now, unfortunately, as the hotel rates itself as four star, and on Jet2 site it's rated as three star plus, um, we all agreed that we wouldn't actually give it a three star rating when it comes to the food. Now, the food of breakfast was very, very basic. Um, minimal, you know, fried eggs, scrambled eggs, not very good sausages and bacon, a um, bit of toast and some side salad. Not much to it really. Dinner times wasn't much better. It was more or less the same every day. What you're looking at now. Now, the evening meals were much better. There was a chef overseeing everything and answering people's questions. And he was actually sitting with the manager of the hotel eating it himself. So evening meals were great. Unfortunately, breakfast and the dinners weren't up to much at all. Um, I would rate this food-wise as maybe two star plus. Hi guys, it's leaving day. We've been here seven days and it's time for us to leave. Now, we've had to pack up all our stuff. We did ask um, three days before we were due to leave at reception if we could extend the room. However, I said instead of extending the room, we could get a room, but we'd have to change rooms. So I've been down to see them this morning. Um, it's given us room 413, which is an unrefurbished room. It's not been refurbished yet. So when we looked at the video earlier, and I said that the room that we was in was one of the unrefurbished ones. It's actually a refurbished room. Um, a little bit disappointing because now that I'm in a room that's unrefurbished, it ain't the best to be honest with you. Now, so I've got my notes down here I'm just reading off. So, like check out, you have to go and see reception three days before you move, before you leave. Um, they'll note it down, but it's not guaranteed that you're going to get a room or extend the room. Um, but then you go down and see them on the morning and they'll make a decision there. It was an extra 60 euros for a room. I'll have to check that one for you. Um, okay, so we moved rooms into a non refurbished room. We'll have to take a look around in the room in a minute. So, to be honest with you guys, the, the, they've done me head in a little bit because before we moved rooms, yesterday, maintenance kept knocking the door whilst we was in the room um, and they kept coming in and looking at the toilets I haven't got a clue why they was looking at the toilets um, they never gave us any explanation, they didn't really speak much English to be honest um, but they was doing something up the corridor now this morning whilst we were packing our luggage to change rooms he kept knocking the door again and he kept asking what time we was leaving, we kept telling him we need time to pack we're leaving an hour. I mean, we'd got, basically, we didn't have to check out until 12 p.m. anyway. This was about 10 a.m. So he kept knocking the door. He kept coming back and saying, what time are you leaving? I think somebody might be knocking our door now. Yep. Yes, yeah, so guys, the cleaning lady just knocked the door and come in and said that she didn't realize that we have got the room. Um, I've explained to her that we've got it extended. However, um, let's get on. So, what have we got? We're going to have a look around the, the room in a second and show you the, the rooms that haven't been refurbished. Um, now this is a pool view room. As you can see, you can see the pool out there. Oh, let's get my camera back down. Okay, so we did find out from reception, for some reason we haven't got an explanation for this, Earlier on in the week, when we were asking about why we was in the annex block, the guy at reception turned around and said, because we're Jetto, 
and because we're Jet2, all of Jet2's customers go into the annex block, so we're all in the rooms in that side. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they are the refurbished rooms. They don't look like they've been refurbished, to be honest with you, but they do look a lot better than this room that we're in. Um, also, Jet2 customers don't pay for the Wi-Fi. Everybody else, Tui, Ryanair, whoever you're with, you pay for the Wi-Fi here. Now, it's 24 euros for seven days, or it four euros a day, something like that. Anyway, if you Jet2, you can register up to two devices. It will still come up when you're trying to connect that you have to pay. However, it does state that if you Jet2, when you check out on the day, they won't charge you. It's free for Jet2. Okay, so moving on. Now that we've spent seven days here, um, obviously we've had a chance to try the breakfast, the dinners, the lunch. Um, it ain't the best. Breakfast, my opinion, rubbish. Um, the only things worth eating was the toast and the fried eggs. The eggs was pretty much banged on. Everything else, your sausages was the usual frankfurters out of a tin that looked like party sausages. Um, bacon was the normal rubbish you get abroad. It was nothing like English bacon. Now, when you stay in other hotels, I know this is, it's not you get for what you pay for because we have paid, not through the nose for this hotel, but we have paid above the average. So you'd expect a little bit above average. So, Dinner was your usual affair, um, bit of pizza, bit of quiche, omelettes, chips, chicken nuggets, um, all right to get by on, but you wouldn't really want to sit there and eat it every day. Uh, dinner of an evening, evening meals was actually pretty good, I actually enjoyed most of what I ate, um, and they're the only ones that we did actually go down for consistently, because it was of a good standard now there was a chef in the dining area every dinner time um we're talking late meals and he, he would actually sit there with the manager and he would eat himself he would eat the same i don't mean he'd actually eat himself <laughs> um he'd eat the food that was prepared by himself and the staff um and he would sit down and have a meal with the manager most evenings now from that you would get lamb you'd have an italian night You'd have Mediterranean nights, Greek nights. It was, it was pretty good, to be honest with you. It was not bad at all. Um, the other tips is, if you're staying street side in the annex block, or even in the main block, if you're straight, staying street side, if you don't go to bed early, you'll be okay. But if you're one of these that does like to go to bed early, there's a lot of noise coming from the bars up the road. Um, now, obviously... The reason I'm telling you this is because if you're thinking about booking this hotel, Soccer Spataris Beach, um, you're going to want to know these things because I'd want to know. So if you do if you do book and you're going to go for street view, I would spend the extra little bit and go poolside because you're going to get a much quieter room of an evening. Um, it is very, very noisy on the street side. You've got Waves Cocktail Bar at the corner. They don't stop playing music till half past one in the morning. Um, up from there, you've got other bars like the Guitar Bar, our favourite bar, visit it. Um, the Sphinx Bar, you can't really hear those so much, but Waves is the one that you can hear. Uh, it's a good bar, not not dissing Waves whatsoever, obviously they need the entertainment, they've got to entertain the customers, etc. But if you're staying in this hotel, you're going to hear it till half past one in the morning. Um, what else have we got? So let's have a look. Street side annex noise. Uh, right, so. On the sign outside of the hotel, they say it's a four-star hotel. Um, Jet 2 are rating it as a three-star plus hotel. In my opinion, and I've been in a lot of hotels, so I tend to know the standards of a three-star, the differences between a three-star, four-star, five-star. Um, and this, to me, is a very average three-star. Now, I used to love this hotel, but it might be the last year that I book it until they up the game a little bit because the food's gone downhill the room standards have gone downhill in fact i'm going to i'm going to show you something in a minute and you, you probably change your mind about booking the place to be honest with you when i, when I show you um so guys 
Yeah, I would say that this is a very average three star hotel. Now, I'm gonna show you around the room that we're in just for today. We've got it till 6 p.m. because it's the light checkout room that we've had to pay a little bit extra for, but it's worth it because you can have a show before you leave to get on the plane. You've got the toilets, etc. You can have a lie down in the afternoon. Um, and you can go and spend the day by the pool, which is what I'm gonna do after this video. And I can come around and show So come on, let's have a look around the room. So as we walk into the room, shut the door behind me. Immediately to your right, we have the bathroom. She's a single toilet. I have put that bath mat on the, on the floor because I did have a quick shower earlier. So you've got your toilet, you have a bathroom, uh, a bath, sorry. You have the shower, which is a handheld shower, and you have oh, the sink. Now there's no toilet roller holder on the floor. If there is, that's it. Which I'm not too sure how that works, it's too short to fit a toilet roll on there. Um, now this is the bath. Now, when I first met, to be honest with you, look at the stains there. I don't know what that is, but this is, that don't look like it's been cleaned to me for a long time. In fact, I'm trying to figure out what that is, and I ain't got a clue. So the bath taps as well, pretty grimy. If I'd have been put in this room the first day that we got here, I'd have been straight down to reception asking them to, to move us. Now, I did turn, when I turned that tap on earlier, what came out of it was brown. I'm not joking, guys. I mean, it'll probably come out, I don't know if the show is going to come on or the tap. I might get wet in a minute. I don't think it's going to come out brown now because I've let it run through. But, oh, it's the show up. Okay, so. To switch the shower off, you do that. So it is coming out clear. But when I switched that on my own, yeah, it came out brown. And God knows what that was. Maybe it was just sitting with stagnant water for a while in there. Maybe somebody's not used this room for a while. Um, here. Let's come out of this. It's quite warm in here as well. So, coming out of here, there are marks on the walls. But there's... It doesn't look like it's had a lick of paint, not recently, but these are the beds. How old fashioned is that? You've even got a radio right between you. Just in case you want a little bit of music in the night, I think. <laughs> so the only thing I'd, I'll give this room is there's a lot more storage in here. At least for this one, you do actually get bedside tables with some... Uh, Decent room inside there. A bit stained there. You got a wardrobe with about twice as much hanging space as what we had in the refurbished room and safe. There's some nasty little holes going on at the back of there. Don't know what that's all about. You do have an air dryer, it's hanging out the drawer here. And then you have a nice old fashioned mirror with some good looking guy in there. Your bin is underneath there. Um, I don't know what that is. And then in here, I've not looked in here yet, but I'm going to guess there's a mini fridge in there. Yep. Actually, that looks like it might be a new fridge. Oh, and this one actually closes. The fridge that we had in our room didn't close. So that looks new. It looks like it's been replaced. What have we got in this bit? Just a bit of shelving. Uh, on there, we've got a bit of... That spins around, I don't know what I don't know what that's about. You've got a TV. It looks like a 28 inch, maybe a 32 inch. You have a kettle. With some cups and a bit of coffee. Your plugs are down there. Behind that. You don't have any plugs next to the bed. You do have a telephone down to the reception. Again, some storage space. These are your bed sheets, nice and white. Bit crumpled because I have lay on there. So this is the room you may get if you don't travel with a jet two. Let's have a look at the pool view. So here's your balcony. Right, the air conditioning in the room does turn off if you open the door. So there's your seating on the balcony. Now this side you have got a much better view. Actually, to the sea as well.
and you've got the restaurant just below us. A great pool view. So guys, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, if you are looking on booking an hotel in Cyprus, in Prataras, Prataras is a wonderful area, it's one of my favourite destinations, one of my best holidays, um, the bars are fantastic around here, the entertainment in, of an evening is brilliant, the beach, the lovely long golden beach, there's plenty of other little bays around as well, plenty of places to visit, um, I'm going to be totally honest with you, before you consider booking a Soccus Beach Hotel, well, the Soccus Beach Hotel, have a look at either the Alva Apartments, which I saw catering, but I think they do do a half board as well. Wonderful apartments, absolutely amazing, spotlessly clean. Um, great kitchen area, great dining area, good comfortable bed, good location down the other end by Pig Tree Bay. Um, or have a look at Vrasaki Beach, that's right on the front. Um, fantastic Caesar salad down there, Judah was mad for it. So, anyway, definitely don't book Soccer's Gardens, which is just the other side of Pretorius. We stayed there a few years back, and it was a bit of a hole. So, don't book Soccer's Gardens. Um, if you have to book Soccer's Beach, it's not a, you're not going to have a bad holiday. You're just not going to have an amazing holiday for the money. You could pay the same money and get an hotel that's better than this one with better food, better rooms. The staff are nice. The staff are polite. They, they, they'll have a laugh with you in that. The evening entertainment here as well. That's just something I missed out. The evening entertainment, it tends to be bingo and a Greek Cypriot girl singing old 80s tunes um not particularly well but it's all right for like 20 minutes if you want to carry on with the all inclusive before you use the bars so anyway guys hopefully you found this um review helpful i'm going to give the hotel right what we're going to do let's rate the food breakfast i'm going to give two out of ten because it was rubbish dinner i'm going to give five out of ten because it was totally average and Evening meals, I'm going to give 7 out of 10 because they were nice, but they weren't amazing. They were nice, okay? The hotel itself, staff, reception, pool area, I am going to give 7 out of 10. Because again, it was nice. Um, they were friendly. The pool area, pool area is fantastic, to be honest with you. But I'm going to give it 7. Uh, the rooms, if you go for a refurbished room, they are spotlessly clean, but they are very, very clinical looking. It looks like a hospital room, to be honest with you. Um, no sports storage space, barely any at all. There's no, no cupboards, there's no drawers to put anything in. There's just a shelf underneath the TV and a wardrobe half the size of the one that we've got in this room. Um, so refurbished rooms, I'm going to give 5 out of 10 just because of lack of storage space and furniture. Looks like there's nothing in the room, to be honest with you. Um, and then the non-refurbished rooms, which is the one I'm sitting in now, due to the, the state of the bathtub and what came out of the, the, um, the tap when I first turned it on, um, the decor in here, okay, you get more storage space, However, I'm going to give this room 3 out of 10. You can get a lot better for your money than what we're in at the minute. Um, so guys, hopefully you found this useful, informative. Give me a like. Please subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. And it does cost me to come out and do these reviews for you and give you a look at the hotel. So please help me out by subscribing to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell for notifications and I'll see you in the next hotel. Bye for now.